Welcome back to the garage. For today's project, we'll be replacing the clutch on our Yamaha G9. Let's grab some tools and get started. These are the tools we'll be using today. These are the parts included in your kit. The clutch can be located here, but before we remove it, we need to remove the band located here. There's a screw on the side of it. We're gonna remove that using a screwdriver. We're gonna get it just loose enough to where we can pull the air box hose off the air box itself. That should be good. Now we can remove the vacuum hose. We're just gonna squeeze here and bring this up just a little bit. We can pull this out. Now with our hoses disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and remove the two bolts at the bottom of the air box assembly using a 10 millimeter socket. With the two bolts removed, we can now go ahead and move the airbox assembly towards the front of the car to get it out of place. Now we can just lift up. We can go ahead and go over to our starter generator and loosen up the nut right here. That way we can get this band out of our way. I'm using a 12 millimeter socket here. I'm just gonna loosen that up enough to where we can push the starter generator that direction. Now we should be able to just slip this band right out. So now we can go ahead and remove the cap over the clutch. There are several screws around the outer rim holding it in place. As you can see, we've removed a few of them already. We're down to our last one here and we're having a little trouble. Can't get it out with a screwdriver, so for this we're gonna use a Dremel. We're gonna cut in a deeper and wider groove right in the center there and get it out with a uh, flathead screwdriver. And now using a flathead screwdriver, we can go ahead and break this free. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and remove the cap covering the clutch. And then in the center here, we have a bolt that we need to remove using a 22 millimeter socket. In order to remove the original clutch, you'll need to order a clutch puller bolt, which is sold separately on our website. We're just gonna place that here. Gently start threading it in. Now using a 22 millimeter socket with a ratchet, we're gonna go ahead and get this in further. And now using a screwdriver, we're just gonna go ahead and place it into the clutch here for some leverage. Using the 22 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten it in further. You can just let the screwdriver fall into place here on the floor, that way it has something to fall back onto. You may need to grab a piece of pipe to use as a breaker bar. This will give you extra leverage. We're getting close to the end here, so let's go ahead and take our breaker bar off. And we'll go the rest of the way by hand, just be careful, it's probably gonna pop out of place here. There you go. Gently work your way around the belt there. Before we put our new clutch in place, we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws and take off the cap. Now we're gonna go ahead Put our new clutch through the belt here and place it back on. Then you're gonna take your new center bolt from your kit, which includes a lock nut and a washer, and place that through the center. And we're gonna tighten this up using a 19 millimeter socket. Now let's go ahead and place the cap on. We're gonna line it up with the holes. After hand tightening, let's go ahead and use a screwdriver. Make sure these are fully tightened. 
With the new clutch in place, let's go ahead and put the belt back over the starter generator. And now we can go ahead and push the starter generator forward. And we're going to resecure that using the 10 millimeter socket. Press down on the belt and you're going to want to make sure that you have about 3 to 5 millimeters of play. You want to make sure not to over tighten it. Now we're going to reinstall the airbox assembly by aligning the hole here with a peg down below. Then we're going to push back towards the cart. And now we're going to place the two bolts back down here and secure the airbox assembly back down. And now we can fully secure these using the 10 millimeter socket. Now let's go ahead and put the hose back on. Now using a screwdriver, go ahead and tighten up the hose clamp. And last thing we want to do is go ahead and put the vacuum line back on. And re-secure. And that completes the installation of our new clutch on our Yamaha G9. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.